students welcome to eternal ac education in this session you are going to learn chapter 12 structured query language shortly called as sql content of this video is what is sql what is the role of sql in rdbms and what are what is the processing skills of sql sql full form structured query language is a standard programming language so do you remember what is programming language you have learned c++ you are learning python and now you are going to learn sql so this pro this is also a programming language but the task is to access and manipulate databases we have learned what is databases databases are collection of tables a table is a collection of data in the form of row and column sql allows the user to create retrieve alter and transfer information among databases that means a sql is able to create a table able to fetch the data in a table able to edit the data in a table that is alter and able to transfer information among databases that means the link between the table it is a language designed for managing and accessing data in a rdbms that is relational database management system you have learned what is rdbms that means a database with a model of relation between tables so it's the idea about sql as we know there is a version difference and updations in a software that is the plus point of the of our department that is information technology department as always there will be a updation in hardware as well as in software so so there are many versions of sql the original version was developed at ibm so research center the name is quill in the year 1970 but it was changed to sql in 1986 american standard national standard institute published an sql standard that was updated again in 1992 and against the latest uh, release in the year 2008 so this is the uh, information regard sql then what is the role of sql in rdbms we know database is a collection of tables that store sets of data that can be queried for use in other applications next point database management system this system supports the development administration and use of database platform simply it manages the database next point is rdbms is a type of dbms with a row based table structure that connects related data elements and include functions related to create read update and delete operations so this is simply called a crud then as we know data in rdbms is stored in database object this is said to be the table or a table is a collection of column and row column represents the vertical position that is the attribute simply it is the title or field name then row is said to be the tubule it is in horizontal a single row will give a complete information about a thing that it may be a object it may be a book it may be a person or it may be anything so the horizontal data that is the student number of 1103 with the name of vidya with a at the age of 14 is in the class of 10 in the section b it is a complete information so rdbms packages there are many software developed based on the rdbms concept examples are oracle mysql msql server ibm db2 
Microsoft Access. So in your in your book in 12th standard you are going to learn yes my SQL light uh, just of my SQL it will come in the further chapters then SQL is a language used to access data in such databases so clear idea DBMS is a database it's a collection of data in the form of table that is RDBMS next SQL SQL is a language it's a pure programming language used to, to access and manipulate the data in such databases is it clear children then processing skills of SQL what are the things that a SQL can do in RDBMS first one is DDL data definition language commands for defining relation scheme that is the table to define a table structure I need the DDL command then for after creating the table I have to insert the record inside the table if I want I have to change if I don't want I have to delete these things are done by the data manipulation language commands DML then embedded data manipulation language this is used in high level programming that means it will be very useful in real time project then view definition SQL also includes commands for defining views of table uh, view and table looks to be similar but there is a difference table is first formed from the table only a view can be created that means a table think it is a collection of 100 attributes there are 100 columns for a particular thing I need only 10 columns but from that particular table means I can use a view so you will learn this just have an idea now authorization SQL includes commands for access rights to relations and views of table that means giving the permission or rights for a particular person to access the table and view imagine it is a bank the bank manager will have full rights to view all the databases even he cannot view the our, P, our ATM pin number if we change so uh, the person who is below the manager will have a rights to save only particular transaction in a table so these rights are given on the basis of authorization then integrity integrity is the honesty or the accuracy in the data retrieved based on a particular condition so if you want to uh, select a person who is above the age of 50 or who is having the bank balance of more than one crore so there will be some conditions based on that we will have some data then transaction control this SQL includes commands for file transactions and control over transaction processing so after creating all the things we must have a control over the transaction transaction means updation deletion all the thing is said to be a transaction there is a control to manipulate that or manage that so these are the processing skills of SQL we have a recap what is the SQL structured query language is a standard programming language the role of SQL is the SQL language used to access and manipulate data in such databases then processing skill it can use DDL command DML embedding view authorization integrity and transaction control these are the processing skills of SQL that's all for this session thank you have a good day